Good evening, Briggins. Tom Morton here with Brigand Outdoors. Today we have a very special episode for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to take this or this and your favorite shark setup to take your bait out to any distance that you want without a kayak. More from Brigand Outdoors after this. Let's go to Welcome back. All right, in this episode today, we are going to talk about drones. I love drones for shark fishing. They, uh, it's just such a cool way to leverage technology to help us fish. Um, everybody knows the struggle sometimes with you know dragging the kayak out to the beach, cold weather, don't want to get wet. The drones kind of eliminate all of that. They're a really awesome tool. They enable you guys to film while you're fishing, so you get really cool aerial shots of where you guys are fishing at. And they allow you to take baits out to any distance that you want, really, you know, depending on your line capacity, with no hassle. Um, I will say that we've had a few close calls along the way, but we've also learned a lot about it. So that's what I wanna share with you guys today. All right, so I'm gonna start with the platforms. Okay, so the two flat platforms that we use are the Mavic Pro, by DJI and the S900 by DJI. Obviously there's some size differences here and I'll talk about capabilities and all the different nuances between these two platforms. So let's start with the Mavic. The uh, Mavic we originally bought as a filming drone but we quickly found out that we could fly baits with it too. Um, as far as how we fly baits, uh, so as you can see that the, Ma the Mavic is not really modular, it kind of comes how it is. And so built into the Mavic are two pegs on the back, which kind of serve as a convenient attachment point. Um, as far as the attachment goes that we use to drop it, that's really the key to success here. So it's very simple. All we have here is a, is a snap from a snap swivel on the end. And then we have a 500 pound uh, mono leader. And then at the end of the leader, we have a downrigger clip attached. Now, really the whole key to this whole experience with using drones, this is the most important piece. It's called a downrigger clip. This particular one is made by um, Blue Water Research. Um, and you can buy this one, this particular one at Bass Pro. We use this one for the Mavic specifically because this particular one here has a two pound um, bite pressure and two pounds, you don't wanna go over that for a drone of this size. Um, if you guys are wondering what a downrigger clip is, it's used in trolling. And really, it's sort of just like a really heavy duty clothespin. It's just a high pressure clothespin. And the bite pressure on this particular one, as I mentioned, is about two pounds. Um, so as how this works with the Mavic, right? So the Mavic Pro has a safe payload of uh, 400 to 450 grams, and that translates to about one pound. Um, I will say that we have flown out one pound uh, baits before with no issue, not a lot of severe performance um, issues with the drone at that weight. Something to keep in mind, however, though, is with a one pound payload, that includes the bait, your weight and all the line that's out as well. So keep that in mind when you're selecting baits. Now, I'll tell you we've gone we've gone probably upwards of close to two pounds with the Mavic, and I don't I don't recommend going really that high, and I don't I definitely don't re recommend trying to go any higher than that. I would say a, a safe area is about a, a pound and a half. Now that being said, the best thing you guys can do for yourself, and I highly recommend this, whatever drone you guys decide to use, make sure you, you rig it up uh, as it would be on the beach and fly your bait out over land, you know, in a field or something and test it. Just make sure you test it because the last thing you wanna have is a catastrophic, uh, a catastrophic 
you know, error over the water because if your drone goes down, that's it, right? So definitely test, test, test. Um, and as far as how you do this test, at the end of this video, we're gonna have a perfect demonstration on, on how you can do this over land to show you guys how the, the drones operate with weight attached to them. Okay, moving on to the big drone. Um, now the big drone, uh, we, we just got very recently and we got it because as you guys know, in the shark fishing world, um, a one and a half pound bait is sort of small and we all want to catch huge monsters. So we upgraded our drone to a bigger size and the difference other than the size of this drone and you know, obviously, obviously it's shape is it's payload. Now there's a nuance when you guys are buying drones and looking, trying to figure out how much your drone will take, keep this in mind. So with the Mavic, it has a payload of 400 to 450 grams. With the S900, it's rated as a total takeoff weight. So the total takeoff weight includes the body of the drone itself. So make sure when you guys are looking at these numbers to determine if it's a payload or it's a takeoff weight. In the case of the S900, it's, its maximum takeoff weight is 18 pounds. Um, with the battery in this drone and also the gimbal removed, the drone's sitting at about 11 to 12 pounds depending on the battery size, which means that we can safely fly a six pound weight uh, or a six pound bait rather out to whatever distance we desire. Um, so I will say that we have, are still in the testing phase with this. We've tested up to eight pounds with no significant issues with this particular drone. But again, whatever drone you guys decide to go with, test, test, test. Okay, the uh, rigging system for the S900 is very similar to the Mavic, um, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Um, but the main difference, the main component difference is the downrigger clip that we've chosen for this. So this downrigger clip, it's made by Canon. As you guys can see on the, on the side there, it has a dial and that dial allows you to adjust the bite pressure. The bite pressure for this particular one by Canon is between two and 22 pounds. The reason why that's important is if you're, if you're selecting a bigger bait, you're gonna need a downrigger with more bite pressure. So like we mentioned before, this will only hold on to about two pounds of weight. This theoretically can hold on to 22 pounds of weight. So what I do is I, I rig the, uh, I'll attach a weight, you know, any weight will do to this downrigger clip and I'll adjust the dial until when I give it just a little jerk, the weight will slide out. And right now it's, it's by pressure sitting at about six pounds. And why that's important is when you get out to your distance and you close the veil on your reel, um, you want your drone with its own power to be, be able to fly off the line rather than uh, sit there with your, your pole and jerk it. So let's talk about the procedure. So I'll demonstrate the procedure with the smaller drone and the procedure is the same for both drones. Okay, so what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have your, your drone up in a hover in front of your rod at about head, head height. Uh, then you're gonna, you're gonna want your bait attachment point to be dang, uh, dangling down. And what you'll do is you'll grab a bite of your leader or fishing line and make a bite and then place the bite in the downrigger clip, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly take off with your drone, make sure the bail of your reel is open so line can spin out freely. Um, slowly take off and then, and then once you get some line out, then you can take off out to your desired destination. Once you get to the, the desired destination, pay, atten pay attention to the telemetry of your controller so you can keep track of distance and direction. Um, once you get to the desired destination, close the bail of your rod, so now no more line can feed out freely, and fly forward with your drone. The majority of the time, your drone's own power will be enough to pop that this downrigger clip, like so, off the bite of line, okay? So if you guys can imagine, one more time, so if you guys can imagine your drone is out, out at sea, the forward, the once you close the bail, there's there's tension on the line, and this is connected to your drone, and the forward pressure from your drone will pop that downward clip right off. 
One other good thing, if when you guys are selecting drones, if you select a drone that has a camera on it, um, the good thing about that is prior to dropping baits, you can scout the your fishing area for structure or schools of fish. So when you finally decide to release your bait, you can release it right over a high target area. And that's definitely what you want. Okay, so that's sort of uh, the procedure. It's really simple. That's why I like this method. Um, and if you guys are, you know, have any more questions, don't worry. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this exactly in a live action demonstration at the end of this video. Okay, um, so for the, the big drone, very same procedure. If you guys can see down here, I have a piece of 200 pound hollow core attached to the frame and it has a loop in the middle that's draping down and same thing, I'll take this attachment point, I will attach it to the, the loop that's hanging down and then I'll put the big drone at a hover, I'll attach my vital line to the downrigger clip. Once everything is attached up, I'll slowly bring it up to bring the, the weight off the ground and then I'll, at first I'll slowly bring it out and then you know once we get some line out then I'll go full speed. Um, Okay, one more thing I want to cover. Uh, so with the Mavic, you really kind of, you don't have many options for attachment points. It's kind of in the back, but with something like this, or like maybe a Phantom, uh, where the attachment point is really up to you, the, the, the thing you need to keep in mind is you want the, your attachment point to have the bait sitting at the center of weight for your S900, so for, or for your drone. So for example, on the S900, when the battery is in here, the battery sense sits a little bit forward so that the weight of the whole copter without anything on it is sort of slanted forward a little bit. So what I've done is I've put the attachment point, point more towards the back. And so the typical weight we'll take out is about five pounds and the battery weighs about five pounds. So those things counteract each other. And so the center of weight is theoretically right in the middle. The reason that why that's really important is you want all of the motors of your drone with the same, exerting the same amount of force. And where that makes a lot of uh, difference is in like high wind conditions. So if you guys are flying baits out and it's windy, you want the drone not to be weak in one way or, or in one direction or the other. You want it to have uh, sufficient ability to fly to where you want it. And then you want it to have enough power that you can fly off the line. One tricky thing I'll just mention to you guys that you may encounter when you're testing this. So if you go with a weight that is too heavy for your drone or, or a little heavier than it, you probably should have used, and in a high windy condition, you, you may find that when you go to fly the drone off your line, it just doesn't have enough forward power to pull off the fishing line. So there's a couple things you can do there. You can either turn your, your drone back and bring it back to you and uh, detach the weight and reduce the size, or in this, take some practice, so again, test, 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 or you get it out, you, you fly it forward as much as you can, you have a buddy on your, on your rod, you just give it soft, soft jerks, you get a little jerk in the line, and most, at least for us, every single time, that's been enough to get the line to fall off the down river clip. What you don't wanna do is jerk that line so hard that it's pulling your drone out of the air and causing it to be erratic, because then you could have a crash, and again, a crash over the water, sayonara drone. Okay, I think that just about covers it for the explanation portion of the drones. Um, now what we're gonna do is, if you guys will follow me, I'll show you guys a live action demonstration of all the drones in action. Come with me. We're out here at our little demonstration site. Thank you for uh, joining me. And I'm gonna go, before we turn on the uh, drone and get, you know, it's gonna get loud, so we're gonna go through some of the critical components one more time. All right, as you can see, this is sort of what you'll see if you're on the beach. We got the, uh, we got our big drone out here, uh, ready to fly. Uh, one thing to note right, right back here is our, is our line that will connect our uh, fishing line to, and here's our downrigger. Um, you'll see that in action here in a minute. Um, and then we have our rod and reel. So we have it in a, um, a sand spike. Got the senator on there. Got the uh, main line coming down to our, uh, our leader from the leader. You know, this is a standard shark rig. Uh, you got the weight all the way down to the bite leader. And then at the end of our bite leader is our hook and attached to the hook is our, our mock bait rather. Now that's a five pound weight, so that's pretty representative of 
you know, a, a pretty decent sized bait that we'll send out. So you guys stay tuned. We have some really good footage. You'll, you'll guys will get to see all of this in action and you'll have a really good understanding of how to do this when we come back. There you guys have it. It's a little hectic doing it with one man. Usually I have a team out here, but it can be done. So you guys saw it all there live action. So, you know, in the comments below, hit me up. Let me know what other questions you have and I'll cover it. All right, guys, until next time.